Begin by preparing the wound bed and periwound skin per institutional protocol. If necessary, apply a skin protectant to the skin surrounding the wound. For this application, the snap securing hydrocolloid was utilized to help create a seal on a challenging body contour. Before applying the snap securing hydrocolloid, be sure the skin is clean and dry. Shape the hydrocolloid to fit around the outside of the patient's wound. Using light pressure, apply the snap securing hydrocolloid around the wound. Ensure there's at least one centimeter of intact skin between the wound border and snap securing hydrocolloid. Do not place the hydrocolloid directly into the wound. Next, cut the foam to fit the size and shape of the wound. Place the foam into the wound cavity, making sure the foam fills the wound cavity and extends above the wound margins. The snap bridge dressing is used to minimize the chance of additional pressure points. The best orientation of the dressing is determined so that the bridge portion of the dressing will lie flat on the extremity and the port is located on a non-weight-bearing surface. Prior to application, the bridge dressing can be trimmed and shaped to size to suit patient requirements. The dressing should be adhered to at least one centimeter of intact skin to maintain a proper seal. To begin application of the snap bridge dressing, slowly peel away the release liner as you carefully place the snap bridge dressing over the wound. Ensure the center opening of the port is placed directly over the foam interface and carefully apply the dressing over the wound. Next, remove the side release liners one at a time and carefully press the rest of the hydrocolloid dressing to the skin. Use your hands to smooth out the dressing to ensure an airtight seal to the skin. Ensure that a minimum of one centimeter of intact skin around the wound is adhered to the dressing to maintain a proper seal. Note, it's often helpful to hold your warm hands over the dressing to allow the adhesive to properly adhere to the skin. Next, root the bridge section of the dressing away from the wound to help mitigate additional pressure at the wound and secure the bridge section to the patient. Cut the tubing to the desired length ensuring the cut is straight and not at an angle. Fully insert the tube fitting onto the tubing. Connect the snap therapy cartridge to the tube fitting using both hands. To activate the cartridge, press down on the activation key and pull it out. Reinsert and repeat as needed until an airtight seal is obtained and the red pressure discharge indicator is not visible in the pressure discharge window. The green visual indicator should remain stationary to verify that there are no air leaks and excess air is removed from the system. In addition, the dressing will have a sucked down appearance and the dressing will also feel hard to the touch. The snap therapy cartridge can be secured to the leg, arm or belt with the snap therapy strap. Visually inspect snap therapy system at least every eight hours. Reset the snap therapy cartridge when the red pressure discharge indicator is visible and the snap therapy cartridge is not full. Replace the snap therapy cartridge when the red pressure discharge indicator is visible and the snap therapy cartridge is full of exudate. Snap therapy is a discreet and portable option for patients.